Shalom Hak Sameach. I want an, and everybody knows that of this catastrophe, what happened during World War II with the Jewish people. We were slaves. The survivors were slaves. We were working very, very hard. And if the war would last another few days, I myself would not survive, if not from a bullet, from starvation. And I have here a poem. A poem. The fire slip up in many flames, and from them fly six million names. What would they? What was their crime? What do they do? Only to be born a Jew. Have you ever heard the witness uh, 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 victims cry? Have you? Oh my. Have you ever heard the victims' cries? Have you seen the pain in their eyes? What do they? What was their crime? What did they do? Only to be born a Jew. From all Europe, the Jews were brought. From east and west, they were sought. From from yes, from to Treblinka, Majdanek, and Auschwitz they came. From there. They departed in flames. What was their crime? What do they do? Only to be born a Jew. Be a lie to the nations the Torah proclaim. Does that mean that a Jew should go up in flames? Let the world a lesson learn that never, never again a Jew will be born. And now the, I leave a legacy. For six years, during World War II, when Hitler and the Nazis came to power, I had no life. I was born in Radom, Poland, at first in ghetto and later in eight concentration camps. I call them death camps. I suffered humiliation, torture, and hunger just because I was born a Jew. I lost my parents and most of my family but it was my destiny to survive the greatest catastrophe, the Holocaust. Despite the horrible condition, I was not selfish. I risked my life to save others. I hope that my life will be an example for others, not to take life for granted, not to be prejudiced towards others, and to respect one another. After all, we only have one life to live. My prayers go out to all mankind for a world at peace, a world that will not forget, so that such tragedy will not repeat itself. Since the war, since the war, I dedicate my life to bear witness. I attend universities and high schools, and I give my testimony to young and old. I managed to get married and have good children. children and grandchildren of whom I am very proud. They have promised to take over my task and carry on my legacy from generation to generations. And on May 1st, 1945, I was liberated by the Russian forces from this hell on earth. And I believe if we would have a country like Israel at that time, at this time, with their technology, because the camps were isolated, they were, it, only the trains could come to the guest chambers. And uh, if they would send a, a plane and, uh, and bomb the trucks, so so many six million Jewish wouldn't perish. So Israel should go from strength to strength and arm Israel high. And I want to thank the rabbi for the wonderful, uh, for, for the wonderful, uh, what he, the Seder 
he, he, he said. And the, the, the golden slipper to invite us and to have such a good time and we're not hungry anymore. Thank you very much. <laughs>